Hey, what's up you guys? It's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing my lifestyle and beauty empties video. These are some of my favorite and least favorite products that I've emptied over the last couple months. If you guys want to see what some of my favorite products are, skincare, makeup, hair care, and anything else lifestyle related, then keep on watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are subscribed to the fiercest family here on YouTube and make new videos every single Fierce Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, and also turn on those post notification bells so that you're notified every single time when this Fierce Lady uploads. Let's get right into my lifestyle and beauty empties. Let's go. So by far my favorite product that I will show you guys today is the Tresemme Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This stuff is killer. I literally have gone through so many bottles of this. Like, it is really that good. If you guys like very big hair, you need this. It's almost like a little bit addicting, to be honest. Like, I like this better than the Batiste one, to be honest. I just feel like it's a little bit better. It's cheaper. The quality is better. It makes my hair feel less like meh. Kind of feeling like this one definitely gives me a little bit of like texture so if you don't like a textured hair and you like a little bit more soft get the batiste one batiste whatever it's called because that one leaves my hair less like it leaves a very like soft feeling but it doesn't give me any kind of like a volume like i can't like give my hair any kind of like texture you know what i mean where this one definitely gives me the volume and the texture i actually use this like Literally, I wash my hair and the next day I like spray this in. Not because my hair is greasy, but because I want that little bit of like something. And it gives me kind of like almost a, what a sea salt spray does, but without like the yucky kind of feeling, if that makes sense. It's one of my favorites. This is all I've been using for dry shampoo for I think four years now. I have like six other bottles in my bathroom. It really is that good. And I have multiples that I've gone through, but I actually threw out those bottles by an accident. So this is the first product that I would recommend. For my second product, the one thing that I can't live without, especially since I have gone very natural with my hair. Yes, I still do diet. Obviously, I'm not that natural. I'll never be natural. But my hair, all of these waves and curls or whatever that you see in every single video are my own hair texture. I basically just braid it at night. And then uh, that is everything that I do for my hair. This conditioner saved my life probably about four years ago now. And it is the Garnier Fructose Pure Clean Zero Silicone. Because it is super important if you want more of a natural hair to not have any silicones on it. Like it just like silicones really weigh down your hair. And where I'm trying to get my hair to be like bigger and bouncier and much more voluminous then I really need zero silicone. This is a fortifying conditioner and it's also vegan for normal to oily hair. I have very dry hair, but this stuff, again, saved my hair. It has hydrated my hair so much. I have gone through so many bottles of this. I kept two for this video because I ended up throwing out the other three that I went through the summer. But this by far is the conditioner that I will probably use for literally until my hair starts feeling disgustingly dry. At that point, maybe I'll switch over, but for right now, this is what works for my hair, and this is the number one product that I'd recommend for conditioning your hair. My favorite shampoo of all time is the Garnier Fruit Just Triple Nutrition Butter Rich Sulfate Free Fortifying Shampoo. This is the coconut, jojoba, and macadamia oils one. It is a vegan, and it is for intensely dry, brittle hair. Three times more nourishment. Again, I have gone through so many bottles of this. I have another one in the shower. It smells so yummy. Like, it's like a... How do I explain it? It kind of smells like orange, which is weird. So it's like coconut and orange together, or like some sort of citrusy smell with coconut, which... It claims to not have any citrus in it, but like I'm confused because like it honestly smells very similar to the conditioner I just mentioned. This stuff, again, once I stopped being mean to my hair, it really makes your roots extremely moisturized. So if you have like an issue with oily hair, I feel like this might not be the greatest shampoo for you. But if you are dealing with a lot of damage and you're just like, okay, I want to keep 
dyeing my hair because maybe you have a color like mine where I need to dye it all the time and I need to constantly put red in it to refresh it, then this is a great little alternative shampoo. It's kind of cheap. It's from the drugstore. I think it's only like $4 Canadian and it packs a punch for your hair extremely for that dry, brittle hair like it does say. It really does the trick. So now moving into makeup cleansing. This is something that I use every single time to remove my makeup or to remove any kind of swatches that I do for any videos. The first thing here, I have the Equate Beauty Cleansing and Makeup Removing Wipes. This is the Chamomile and Vitamin E one. Yes, it is. Chamomile and Vitamin E one. This comes with 60 wipes in it. You can literally get a box of these at Walmart. They are amazing. The box I think is like $15 Canadian, something around that. And I think there is five to six packages of these. So you're getting like 300 and something wipes in the package, which I think is a really good deal, especially if you're using it to, if you're like a YouTuber and you constantly are swatching things on your hands, or if you're just like, oh, I just need to change out my lip for the day. I don't like these to take off all my makeup just because I feel like they don't do that well, I feel like for a full face of makeup like this, I would need two of these wipes. But these are still amazing to just have in your desk or if you have any kind of spills or anything like that as well. They're great. I always keep them in my bag. 100% recommend. My favorite wipes of all time are the AOA Studio Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. This is the unscented one in the black packaging. It actually has changed packaging now. We have the new packaging, which looks just like this. Again, like you just saw, I have another package on here. So that tells you that these are good. There's 15 wipes in them. And there are the wettest makeup removing wipe I have ever had in my whole entire life. You can get them on Shop Miss A. They are $2 and something cents Canadian per pack. I think that is well worth it. I literally have like a full drawer. Like I'm not even lying. Like wait, wait, wait. So like I was saying, I literally have like a full drawer of these. I'm not even kidding. They're really that good. Like I keep these stocked up every single time. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup because of COVID, which I mean, kind of helps my little makeup wipe addiction, especially for these. If these ever go out of stock or if they ever get discontinued, I will be the saddest person ever because one wipe literally takes off all the space of makeup. And then I go in with a liquid cleanser and that's all I do for my makeup removing. This really does the trick for getting off that really heavy, gunky, hard to remove makeup. Next up is the skincare category. Literally one of the most important steps for me. I do a morning and nighttime skincare routine. I'm very diligent with my skincare. My number one product that I would recommend is the Pacifica Cosmic Renew AHA and Hemp Resurfacing Tonic. This is like a liquid exfoliating tonic. It looks just like that. This is literally the best. As you guys can tell, I have multiple bottles. One of my friends who works at Shoppers Drug Mart, she actually recommended this to me because I was suffering from really dry, scrapey, scaly skin. And this stuff saved my life. So basically what I do is I just put on a little cotton pad. I know I haven't really gotten to the whole environmentally friendly pads yet, but I'm working my way there, you know. I've cut out a lot of things from my life. I'm also vegetarian now, so I'm working my way. I'm working my way to save our earth. But I just pour one of these on a cotton pad and I rub my face. After literally using this for like two days, I noticed that my skin was so much softer and so much less dry. I've been dealing with really dry skin the last year and going from super oily skin to really dry skin, I was kind of culture shocked. I say culture shocked, that's really dramatic skin care shock, skin shock, I don't know what you would call it, of how your skin can go from super oily to super dry. With not even like maybe a couple years, my skin was like a girl. She was thirsty. It's about $20 Canadian, a little bit less than, and I think that I go through a bottle maybe every three months. I have two different moisturizers here. The first one is the Marcel Hydroactive 24 Day and Night Moisturizing Gel Cream. This stuff really worked. It really hydrated my skin. I did like literally clean this out. Like I'm not even kidding you. But yeah, I literally cleaned it out. Like she is empty. The smell is really good. If you have very sensitive, allergy prone skin, Marcel is a great Canadian brand to use. There's quite a lot of product in here. It has 50 mils. It lasted me for quite a few months. I think maybe three. And I was using it day and night. That was before I got a night cream, which is 
the next empty that I'm about to show you. This stuff is really great, again, if you need something that is hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, it doesn't really break you out. This is a great moisturizer for that if you have really dry skin on top of that. Excellent. A $30 price tag Canadian, you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart. My next moisturizer is the Revolution Hydro Boost Night Nourishing Hydrating Cream. It is in the black packaging. You can get it from MakeupRevolution.com. I literally have gone through two of these now. It is one of the best night creams that I've used. I need to get into an anti-aging one because this one's only for hydrating. Has kept me away from any kind of fine lines and things like that. But I definitely think that I need something that will just like bring my skin a little bit more like collagen to it and definitely get rid of any of that aging that has happened within this 25th year of my life. It's a really great product. I definitely super recommend it. It's very hydrating again, so it's great for dry skin. It has a lower price tag on it. I believe that it was $15 Canadian for that jar and again has 50 mils. So it has lasted me for, I think three months now or four. I think four because honestly night cream, if you're only using it at night, it definitely lasts you a lot longer than something like this, which you would use like both day and night. My next product is the Ole Eyes Ultimate Eye Cream. I really like this. It has a peach color corrector to it. So it definitely gets rid of your dark under eye circles. So if you just want to pop this on during the day and then go out, it's a nice eye cream to wear throughout the day because it definitely like minimizes a little bit of the under eye darkness. Do I think that this is like the best like drugstore eye cream ever? No. I definitely feel like maybe I could probably get something better and I'm definitely going to transition to something a little bit better, I think, because yes, this was hydrating. Yes, it did have that peach color corrector, but my under eye lines, I didn't really notice diminishing that much. Like I definitely noticed them diminishing and a lot of like older ladies definitely recommend the Ole Eyes range, but I'm not really sure if at 25 it really is like made for me like I'm trying to like counteract aging instead of like slow it down you know what I mean like I'm trying to like get a little bit younger instead of just like staying at where I'm at skincare wise so I definitely think that I'm going to try out maybe a, a different drugstore eye cream I'll let you guys know if I find anything that is good at the drugstore so that is everything for my empties I am really out of breath I need to go take a drink there were so many products here. I hope that you guys found some good recommendations from me. If you do need any recommendations for any single product, definitely leave a comment down below. I have so many recommendations for so many things. I have tried out so many things. Being a makeup artist and skincare junkie by nature, I have tried out so many products, so many beauty related products. Hair, not as much. That's not really my whole thing. Hair dye, yes. But hair product, no. I'm a very natural hair person. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a big, huge thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to join the Fierce family. Again, I make new videos every single Fierce Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. And also, make sure to turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every single time when I upload a video. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye, you guys, and remember to always stay fierce.